Speaking of cover-ups, chat, uh, Darkside Phil did a video. Actually, I think it was a stream, and he came out and he said, I have proof that Comcast is deliberately fucking with my internet connection. And he goes out and he um, shows his router. And in case you don't know, in the United States, routers are usually distributed to clients of ISPs. Uh, like they just sort of lease you their their modems and it's usually like a combo modem and router back in the day you used to have a modem and a router uh, these days it's usually one device so they lease you this device however what you don't know is that these devices when you get them from the uh, isp directly are usually their custom firmware and they can control those devices remotely it's really scary which is why there's things like um i think it's called tomato router that uh it's like a it's it's sort of like an open source uh, firmware for routers, and they like support every device ever made. Um, so it's like they can completely and totally control these devices they lease to you, and um, so he's checking his router because he's having all these issues, and he's finding out that there's like parental controls on that like block any page that contains Twitter or Phil or DSP um, or like the DNS is blocking these certain sites and then IP is related to um to Xbox and stuff are being uh blocked so like his connections going off and he doesn't know why and his streams are going down and he doesn't know why and then he has the the uh conscious mind to watch his router and refresh it when this happens and he discovered that no, there is someone remotely accessing his router from comcast deliberately fucking with him blocking ip addresses and using dns resolvers to uh, hot, make it so he can't access certain sites at random and then they just undo it and there's no logging and there's no way to figure this out unless you catch them in the act so he l discovered this reported on it and then the guy joins the fucking website, the Kiwi Farms, and posts um, Comcast dashboard information showing that this person using the website in the DSP board has access to the Comcast uh, uh, account profile for DSP. And then the cope is with this is that this is all fake, that DSP has somehow convinced a Comcast employee to take this picture or forged this copy of the account dashboard for his... Uh, for his profile and then post it to the Kiwi farms to, uh, I guess, provoke people into giving him sympathy donations. But I completely believe that this happened. Uh, it's really shocking. Um, it definitely opens, I think Comcast up to a, a, a lawsuit and you can even see it has information like, um, customer tenure and, and shit. I, I believe this. I, I really, I really do believe this even like, yeah, I think this is legit, but we'll see. And then, um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm uh, the DSP people are just like retarded. I don't, I don't understand the fascination with it. I don't understand the fascination of anyone looking at a low cow and like hating them, like genuinely hating them for what they do. And then like staying invested and like trying actively trying to create scenarios where they are like inconvenienced or deplatformed, because if someone is a lol cow and you find them funny, you should want them to put out as much content as possible. You should want them to keep making weird videos where they're having like schizophrenic episodes and doing weird shit, or you know causing drama or whatever it is that they do that you that you find funny. Uh, you should be like rooting for them to to continue on their trajectory in a way. But with the DSP people, they really want to like get him to kill himself. They want him to be destitute. They say it's for like it's for his own good. They cope about it in the same way that the Wings of Redemption people do. No, we just gotta get Jordy to get a real job. We gotta get DSP to get a real job. He should be working at Staples. It's, it's, it's fucking gay. It's like a it's like a cope so that they don't have to admit that what they're doing is rotten. Um To be fair, Josh, you hate Rakeda? No, I do not. Masterson, I do hate Vito, but it's because he's a pedophile. Like, D Dick is scummy, and Vito 
is sexually attracted to children. I don't want to like ruin him. Like tee hee, I've undone your business, Vito. Tee hee, now you can't make YouTube videos. Tee hee, I want to see Vito prosecuted to the fullest extent of law and put into the pee pee poo poo rape dungeons. I'm not like, I'm rooting against him in a very direct way. Not like, I'm not posting about him every day. Thinking like, ah, Vito's last thing is so bad. Like, no, I'm just waiting for the news one day that he's killed himself so I can laugh about it. Uh, there's a difference. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.